So every day you get to be a designer who literally has dressed people for the Met. Thought I'd start a week in a life, week in the life vlog today because I have a lot of fun out of the norm kind of stuff I'm doing. But at the same time, um, we're trying to get back, we're trying to get settled back in here because uh, Dylan and I were just on a three week trip in Asia. Those vlogs are coming, but okay, let's do a little story time. The camera that I have here, um, which is a little vloggy camera, it's so small, like it's really, really cool. I'm going to show a picture of it here, um, but uh, my friends got this for me and Dylan for our trip, but also like my birthday. And it's so great. It's really small, literally fits in your pocket. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging on this a lot, especially because of how wide it is. But just in case I want to do like a sit down that like, I wanted more like depth of field and wanted it to feel a little bit more cinematic or whatever. I also brought my Sony a ZV-1, I'm pretty sure. I actually don't love that camera for a lot of reasons for in terms of vlogging, but it's a really great camera. But I brought that with us and I put it in the safe of our hotel and Dylan and I, I don't know what happened. There was miscommunication regardless. It was left in the safe along with one of our little like Y2K digital cameras and it's still in Japan. We ended up contacting the hotel and everything and they have it but I just need to figure out a way to ship it back here. So I need to like arrange like a prepaid shipping label and stuff like that. But there's a few clips on there of like packing and things like that. Even though like 95% of the actual vlog footage is on this camera, I would just feel really weird. Like I, I just feel like that other footage would have gone to waste and a lot of the talking bits are on that camera. So it made sense to just kind of wait it out and I'll post those when I'm ready. It was such a fun trip. Dylan and I have never been to Asia before together, even though we've been separately. Um, and it's just one of like the most fun places ever. We were talking about how you have kind of like this, these like post travel blues um, after that everyone in my family's kind of experiencing because we were there for so long. And um, it was a really, really fun and memorable trip. Uh, we actually like, it's technically, We've been calling it our honeymoon because it's really the first big trip that we did post wedding, but we just extended our trip in Japan. Um, and we did six more days in Tokyo, but we didn't really have much plans and we didn't like do much else. We just really wanted to like be in Tokyo for a little longer. Um, but I don't know if I consider it like a honeymoon because I still was like working and stuff. Just happened to be on the other side of the world. Like I said, so we started out with my family trip, which was super, super fun. Um, it's cause we were there with like my sister and my brother and their partners and then all of like my mom's side of the family. So that was super, super cool because how often do you get to do that? And um, yeah, we all, Grammy, Grammy was also there, which was really, really cool too because last time I went to Asia was with her. This time around, it was weird like reflecting because last time I was there was in 2017 and I remember I just hit like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I was starting to do uh, this full time. Um, so thinking about it like five, six years later, like how different everything is, like I'm in my own house, I'm like married, I'm 30, which is also like a whole different thing. I turned 30 while I was there, but just, it's been so crazy since we've gotten back. Cause I feel like I just, I feel like I'm in this new phase of life because so much has happened this summer and it was probably one of the best summers of my life so far. Like there's just been a lot of full circle moments is kind of what it is. Like I got to see Taylor Swift in LA, which she's like my favorite artist of all time and throughout like my whole childhood and like teenager, like girlhood, whatever, which was like kind of emotional cause I got to go there in LA with Dylan and Dylan's best man, which like we like, like they lived together in college. So it was so crazy because we used to like listen to all those albums on repeat, like all together. So that felt really special. We obviously, before that we got like married, like literally like married. And um, before that was my bachelorette with all of like my girlfriends. And it's just been like such a crazy time. So. Yeah, I wish I documented it a little bit more here on YouTube, but I have a lot of it on my TikTok if you guys want to see, especially all the outfits and stuff. But now that I have this little camera that in my opinion is so much easier to vlog on, um, I'm hoping that I'll post some weekly vlogs on here, especially cause I feel like fall is there's just the best time for style, to document things, everything. We rearranged some stuff in our house just cause I felt like we needed a change. Like I said, like it's a new era. So 
Um, but my closet is essentially the same, but I am kind of have like a little itch for it to uh, be a, like just kind of change it up or refresh it a bit. So I do want to do that. It gets so messy in here because I'm, I get ready in here. I film in here and taking all, all my clothes and putting them all back and just doing all that. But also at the same time, I think I just have like a little, <laughs> a little too many things. Like I have so many outfits and things like that. And I think and clothes and I get a lot of incoming as well. I have really, really nice stuff that I love. Um, so it's just really hard for me to like contain it all, but I don't ever really want my closet to exceed this room. Cause like, look at this room. I should never really exceed this, the amount of clothes I have in here. I feel like that's just a little too much for one person, even if this is my full-time job and I love all my stuff. As I'm entering this new decade as well, I want to just kind of really edit down and embrace my personal style. It's kind of hard because I really like a lot of things. Right now this room is a mess. You see me clean up this room so many times. So I just want to clean it up before I head out. And uh, cause I do have a meeting with a couple just to talk about some like stuff I want to not modify. It's just, um, it is, it feels a little loose on me. I don't know if it's cause I've lost weight or something, but with a full eternity band, you can't resize it because the diamonds are perfectly evenly spaced out to fit that size so i know there's a lot of like alternatives that i can do um but because it moves around so much it leaves a blister on my pinky finger so i really really want to wear it a lot so i want to make sure that i can and then after that um i'm actually going to a dinner party at isabel's um isabel hikins on tiktok and everywhere but I need to figure out what to wear to that because she said it's like a little bit more on like the dressy side. I mean, it's a dinner party, obviously, with a bunch of fashion girls. So obviously, I'm going to have to dress up. I'll figure that out. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But this week is so crazy. There's so many fun things happening. So let me clean this up and I'll get back to you guys. We tidied it up to the best of our ability today. Obviously, there needs to be some more organizing in here, but... I just, we don't have time today, it's a pretty busy day. Uh, this is why I decided to wear, just to, you know, mosey around, but this sweater is thrifted, but it looks kind of like a Ralph Lauren sweater, which is why I love it. And then I have my Lululemon Align pants on, a slight, not even a flare, it's like not exactly a legging because it doesn't grip your thigh, but these are the, I mean not your thigh, your calf, but this, these are amazing. So vibe today, I haven't worn these in a while. I really want to bring them on my Asia trip, but I just didn't see myself really wearing them anywhere besides the hotel, so I didn't bring them. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this little sweater from Zara. It's like a wrap sweater. I got it before we bought our house. So it's been a while. Um, I've worn it in a while, but this little ribbon in my hair, and then I'll show you this, the dress I'm wearing. It's like a little maxi moment. It's really cute. I think it's gonna be really fun with my little satin ballet flats that I wore at like the party part of the wedding, which was, it's kind of cute. Little earrings are also from Majuri. And then I'm gonna bring the Chanel. So bye. exciting day. I have to head out in like 10 minutes. I'm going to my first fitting. This is the first time like a, like I'm, we're, like I'm, what am I trying to say? This is the first time I'm doing a fitting for, to dress for like an event for a fashion brand or whatever. And I feel like it's so appropriate that it is Michael Kors. So Michael Kors is doing a pop-up with TNT. Um, in Yorkville, which is so fun. And obviously I have a lot of nostalgia around both, like both brands. It's gonna be like Michael Kors collection pop-up, which is their higher end stuff. But why it is full circle is because I actually, I think I've said this like multiple times throughout like my older videos, but I used to work at Michael Kors as a student when I was like on Christmas break or like during summers and stuff um, because one of my best friends uh, did work there. So she actually went to school in Toronto so she would work there all year round and 
would like basically like hook me up <laughs> and like refer me and I'm just so lucky that these places have hired me but Michael Kors was one of my best retail experiences like ever and I just they're so thorough with their product knowledge um, I know a lot about the brand and it's just so crazy because Michael Kors was like the last I guess retail job I had before I kind of jumped into social media. That's just really wild that now I'm going into an event and they are going to be like dressing me essentially. So that is really, really cool. What is so crazy is that I am heading to their like head office uh, to try on a bunch of things. And that head office is where I did my first interview with them. Uh, for just like a holiday cashier position. It's like really crazy that I'm gonna go back there and now be dressed for an event. This is probably not a great angle, but you'll, it's a great angle of the jeans. And then these are my thrifted Stuart Weitzman heels. And then this is my first time breaking out the large Reformation tote which I thought matched perfectly with my shoes. And then also cause I brought a few shoe options and one of them is actually Michael Kors and they are so comfortable. They're like my most comfortable heels ever. And then if it gets chilly in the morning, I don't think it's gonna be that cold today, but I have this Levi's zip up jacket and I just love kind of like a matching moment. This feels kind of Americana to me as well. I don't know. I felt like it kind of suited the vibe and my go-to sunglasses I got in Taiwan. Which you guys keep asking me where these are from. I am going to try to find an Amazon, like like basically like not replica, but like an, a similar Amazon style to these because I picked them up in Taiwan at like this booth. So I don't like I don't know where you can buy them like online, but I'll try to find them because they're the best shape. They remind me a lot of like list specs. of those like fry style boots. I have a pair that's like ankle height, but I think that I would just wear them a lot more if they were a little taller. So on the hunt for that, but I don't know if we'll actually find because the boot choices seem pretty slim. Kind of what I'm going for, but I think still a little too tall and they're too big for me anyway. There were these two, which kind of have that vibe and they're pretty clean. Like, I'm shocked at how clean these are. I don't know what brand they are, but similarish vibe, but again, too short. Wait, so cute. whatsoever but this camera is so great like I know I've been talking about it this whole video but it literally fits in my phone tripod which is so great so I don't have to like set up another tripod if I want to vlog so hopefully this will motivate me to do more of these videos in the future but as I was editing this I realized I love long-form videos because you get to ramble and show things that obviously um, in more detail than you would on like a TikTok or a reel or a short or whatever. But I want to show you guys an outfit that I'm really into lately, as well as a few things that I've thrifted along with like some side like clips and whatever, and some like new in stuff that I have because I can explain a little bit more like my whole reasoning behind things. This outfit is so cute. I'm really into a riding boot and a short, especially a dressy short lately. I don't know, I'm like not as much into mini skirts. I still love mini skirts, but if I'm looking for like a dress short to wear in this weird like in-between season, and I love the way I styled this today. I did a little video on TikTok about um, styling riding boots. Use the mess, we're going to try to ignore that because from filming, but this I think looks so stinking cute, especially with my vintage Chanel bag that I've been 
wearing all the time that I picked up in Japan. This is such a fun outfit. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and show you guys a few more things that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I got this package last week and I wasn't sure if it was, I wasn't sure if it was out yet, which is why I didn't post it, but it's out now. It's the Paige Lorenz Cove Essential Clips. And I've never had a Cove Essential Clip, but I could see why they are so worth it because they, first thing, the spring is so strong, like stronger than any of the, I mean, I've never had a premium hair clip, but I also love how large it is. And one thing I noticed since I cut my hair is that I guess because it's all one length at the bottom, it's it feels a lot thicker. So even though it's shorter and I don't have like lengthwise as much hair, it's harder to put up because it's so it's so like bottom heavy. But this is such a great clip for that. And um, they also came out with this colorway here, which is a little gingham, which would look so cute with my outfit right now. And I only have big clips. I don't really have these like tiny medium sized clips. That's at least not in like a neutral. So. I just thought that was really, really fun and special. Another thing I want to show you guys that I'm obsessed with lately is a pop of red. So it's such a whirlwind because I went to an event from Michael Kors where they uh, loaned me something to wear. And then I went to an event for Simkai and Jonathan Simkai was there, which was so like crazy. It's not every day you get to meet a designer who literally has dressed people for the Met. Simkai gave me a dress to wear, which is so beautiful. It is this red, slinky number. I couldn't believe I got to wear this. The only thing is I struggled with the shoe choice because we were walking around so much that day that I wasn't sure if I could do a heel because I'm kind of a baby when it comes to that. But the way I see myself wearing this, um, I'll show you the clip here, but it's like these for love and lemon heels. If you look at Simkai's pieces, they are just so, um, they're so just like well thought out, beautiful, detailed, like very up my alley. If you like my style and you're looking to invest in some more like higher end pieces, I really feel like Simkai would be your vibe as well. And then in that little outfit clip of the red dress, I had this little bag from Sandro. I can't believe these labels are on the more luxury contemporary end or even like reaching out or I've seen my content. I think that's really cool. And the one thing I love about this bag is first thing, it's a patent leather, which is so nice. You can wear it as a clutch like I did in that video, which I think looks really cute, casual or dressy. But it also comes with this very like weighty gold chain, which is detachable that you can put on the bag as well. And it could be a really great crossbody. I love pieces that can just do the most. And this would be a really, really good belt. So it's pretty substantial. I think it would be a really sick belt on the right outfit. Thank you, Sandro, for this. I got that in the beginning of fall and I can't wait to style it. Another thing I'm really into is a round sunglass. You guys may have seen, I've been wearing a lot of that square Amazon shape lately, but a round sunglass has just been so up my alley. I've been wearing these like pretty much every single day. I got them um, in Taiwan in Wufenpu, which is like an area with a lot of like, like street, like, I guess like street vendors that sell clothing and accessories and whatever. Another shape I'm like really, really into, weirdly enough. Um, I've never felt like it suited my face, but I don't know, maybe I'm just coming around to it. It is a Wayfarer shaped sunglass. I'm not crazy about these because I don't like sunglasses that, these were given to me in like a gifty box from a company. And I love Ray-Ban, but I think I'm gonna switch out the lens in these because I don't like the ombre. I feel like, I don't like sunglasses where you can see my eyes. So um, I'm gonna make it like an all dark brown lens so I'm able to wear them more, but I'm actually really into a Wayfarer and I never thought I would be because I just never thought they look good on my face. And these ones fold up. So they are so good if you have like a tiny bag or if you wanna um, just bring them with you when you travel, like they're so small. Um, I got this, I don't even know what this is. It's Vit C Fresh Pomegranate. You're gonna hear me mention this once I get my camera back and have my Asia vlogs up. The lip products in Asia, they're just so subtle. And I love that. And I've never been able to find like lip products that I really find are flattering for my skin tone like, ever. It's really, really hard for me to like really like a lip tone, of, like a lip color. Like it's just like a stain. It's just like a, it's like you ate a strawberry. I'm really, really into this. I think it's so pretty. I can't believe I actually like a lip color. I've been wearing this almost every single day. It does fade throughout the day. You would have to touch it up. Last thing I want to show you guys is something I thrifted. Um, and TikTok, always, TikTok <laughs> is really funny because every time I shorten a dress, everybody just goes insane. Like everyone just goes like nuts a little bit because I, I think that people don't like the idea of me like changing up something 
when they prefer it the original way and that I totally get it. It's totally a preference. But a lot of the time what I do is first thing, a lot of these things don't fit me like perfectly. So they will have to get tailored. It is like, you'll just get more life out of them if they fit you properly. And secondly, one thing I do is I don't always like completely cut off the hem. I'll cut off a little bit because it would just be too long for me regardless, even at the long length that it should be at. Um, but I will do a temporary hem and that's what I did for my, uh, party dress at my wedding. I did a temp hem. So all the length of that dress is essentially still there. I just was able to fold it over and then do like an invisible stitch in the back. And I'm probably gonna do the similar, I'm probably gonna do a similar thing for this dress I thrifted. It was $18 and I did have a coupon. So I don't know how much it really ended up being. Less than that, I guess. I think I got like 20 or 30% off, but I felt like this dress was very Chanel. So I wanna know basically what would you guys do to it? Uh, and that's what YouTube is so great for, to create conversation because I feel like I'm not able to get all my thoughts into one video. So I'm gonna pop this on and show you guys and let me know what you think. I'm gonna try to make this the least shaky as possible, but um, basically it's just a gorgeous dress. It's uh, by, I don't even, I think Gianni D'Alberto, I'll put the name up here, but it has all these gorgeous sequins that I feel like it gives Chanel in a way. So let me hear your, your thoughts on this. I don't know if I'd wear them with these heels per se, but um, I feel like the length is just a tad awkward on me. I feel like ugh, this is such a weird length because see here how it kind of cuts off like my ankle. If I were to keep it long, you would want it to be like T length. So like just showing your ankle kind of like that. This is still too long regardless of um, for my height, in my opinion. It either should touch the floor or you should show a little ankle. So maybe ankle is the length I should go with. I initially thought that this dress would be amazing, like really mini. So kind of at, let me see if I can do this. I think I would get so much more wear out of it if it is this length. People have told me like, absolutely not. You should not shorten the dress. It will ruin it, but. My whole thing is, is like, I want to alter it in the way that I think I'm going to get the most wear out of it. It was $18 at the end of the day. I'm not like cutting up a super, super expensive item. I mean, I'm sure it was really pricey at one point, but if I can give it a second life and I'm able to wear it to a lot of things, like why not? The other thing is obviously you can see by the armpit is a little too big. Um, you could tell just from the inside that these straps were added on. I think this dress was initially um, strapless. So, you, so they must have taken extra fabric from somewhere inside and added these straps. Wondering if I should take them off once the bust fits properly. I don't know what to do. Um, and also don't know whether I should do it myself or if I should go to a tailor and do it. Cause like the having it fit more strapless at the top may be a little bit out of my skill set. So I have to figure that out. Mini or long, you decide. Like I said too, the armpit is just like, it's too big here. So regardless, it's gonna to have to be, the bust has to be brought in and probably the waist. Like it probably should fit like this, but I kind of like it loose here. I feel like that's what kind of gives it that Chanel silhouette, but the bust should definitely be tightened. So I would probably ask them to take in right here. In the mirror, I kind of like the strap and I feel like strapless, it definitely gives a more formal occasion or a more formal vibe. That is kind of what goes on in my mind when I thrift pieces like this. Like, what are the small alterations that I can do to make this, my personal style, first of all, actually fit me so I get wear out of it. And just be something a little bit different that I can wear to events because lately a lot of the events have been either cocktail attire or dressy and I have a very casual personal style. So I want to have kind of just a slew of things that can be go-tos for me. Like that leopard dress that I wear all the time is such a go-to for me, but I feel like that's a little bit more summer and I wear it so much and it's definitely more like a standout piece that I want some like really simple items kind of like this that I'm able to dress up differently and it'll look different every single time I go to an event. This finally concludes this vlog. Let me know if you guys like these. I'm gonna start another one like literally this week um, of everything I've been up to and updates on this. Uh, if you like, if you guys like these weekly vlogs and all that, please let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.